Big Mo. And welcome to Big Mo's Just the Tip, y'all. Uh, today's tip is about leg cramps. And what made me broach this subject was uh, I'm on a big job right now, 61 yards of mulch, and it's early in the spring. And early in the spring, I tend to not drink enough water, okay? And I get myself dehydrated. I don't know why, I just don't have the urge to drink as much water as I do in the summer when it's obviously hotter, I guess. Uh, but it's been hot. It's been hot here lately. We're supposed to have uh, break some records here in the next few days. So it kind of snuck up on me, I guess. And uh, started having these bad, bad leg cramps. Knew I was dehydrated. Uh, did a little looking into it. And it, this just goes to show you that an old dog can learn new tricks. And a lot of you guys, a lot of you old veterans may uh, know this stuff already. If you do, well, just too bad. Listen to me anyway. But, um, you know, if you're uh, new to the game and you might not heard of this stuff and it might help you out. And what it is, is you're not, I don't care how much Gatorade and water you drink. You're, if you're sweating to a certain level and it's hot, you know, you're going to uh, dehydrate no matter what. So there is some things you can do. And one of them I had heard of is uh, drinking pickle juice. Yeah, pickle juice is uh, really good for uh, replenishing some of those uh, minerals that you're sweating out. Because you can drink a lot of water, but you're just sweating. All your, you're not getting your minerals back that you're sweating out and such so to speak but uh yeah you uh sweat that stuff out and you're not getting it back but pickle juice can really help with the leg cramps and stuff but there's one thing that i had never heard of how did i never hear of it because it's like a miracle drug i'm just telling you right now folks and what it is is yellow mustard that's right yellow mustard see when you sweat out your shit and your legs start cramping up, that's because you you don't have enough uh, acetic acid going on. You've got, you've deplenished it somehow, you know, by sweating it out. So, <clears throat> yellow mustard happens to be full of acetic acid. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? So what you do is you just take you, uh, if you're having bad leg cramps, you just take you a spoon full of mustard, yellow mustard. It can't be brown mustard, none of that yellow mustard plain old yellow mustard and uh it'll make them leg cramps go away like that lickety split as rosie o'donnell would say and that's amazing so uh what you can do if you can get a hold of them is uh get you some of these little packets like you get at the restaurant when you're out you know, and sweating all your stuff out, take you one of them yellow packets and tear it up and eat that mustard. But uh, I thought that was amazing. You know, it really works. So if you're having the leg cramps and you want them gone quick, quicker than anything you could take, let's eat you some yellow mustard, <laughs> believe it or not. Well, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Be safe out there. Don't dehydrate yourself and eat mustard. See ya! Hey guys, before I get started, and I'm on a really dangerous road right now. But before I get started. Oh gosh, that ain't good. Uh, I don't know if I caught that on there, but that was crazy. Okay, it's dangerous over there. Almost seeing a wreck because of that speed hump or speed bump, hump or bump, however you like. What's up? It's the king here. That's right, I come up with that. The king here. I love it. Another thing I come up with is. I'm here at a, a house I've never done, I've never uh, worked on before. And uh, make sure you put your hand over the mic. 
You can't put your hands right there. Okay, so when I get to a house such as this, and I've never mowed it before, I like to, what I come up with, and I believe I've invented this, is I walk around the house and I check on everything if there's like a, come here for a second. Yeah. Right here we've got a hole in the siding. I didn't do that. We haven't started mowing yet. And uh, I recommend that you, if you come to a new house, make sure you go around it with a camera to check on and make sure there's no damage to the house before you mow. That way you've got it documented on video. Okay, so document it. And I'm sorry, I get distracted by airplanes. I really do. And uh, rabbits. Watch out for rabbits. Um, and snakes. Watch out for snakes out here. But anyway, look. Document the damage to the house. And that's what, see, I'm, the king is going to clean up his act. I'm going to get a little bit more serious. That's right. I'm going to start to get a little bit more serious. Another airplane. And uh, I believe we could do a lot of things. Um, please like our videos. It goes a long ways. Uh, haters, please keep disliking and watching the videos and really supporting us in ways we need deeply. And um, I'd say, please hit the notification bell up here. And hey, that's all you need to do. I'm gonna go mow for you. me long how many minutes let's see and I've got a little bit over here to clean up but it's saying five minutes on the camera here five minutes did this overgrown backyard I'm telling you I'm not messing around with you I'm not playing with you Dixie Chopper does not play around I'm telling you believe 
okay once you get one and you learn how to use it because you got to learn how to drive it like a fine cadillac you got to learn how to drive it it's all about wanting it okay I didn't know how to use that beautiful machine when I first got it, but when I have first, I'll never be able to use another mower again. If you're not believing what I'm putting down, then that's gonna be your own problem. That's the only frustrating thing to me. Whoever's listening, get you a Dixie Chopper. This has been a Lone Stars Dramedy Network presentation dolling.